going to do is you're going to create a magic ring or magic circle. So I'll link my other video up um, so that you can watch that because I'm going to run through this pretty fast because I don't want this video to be too long. So just make sure to watch that other video. So first of all, when you're creating your magic ring or circle, I like using three fingers and you're going to basically create a straight line on the back of your fingers and then create an X here and then secure it with your pinky so it looks like you have uh, two parallel lines here but you actually have um, an X on the back that you're just securing like that. So I'll show you that one more time. So you're going to go like this and then you're going to create an X and then just come over securing that with your pinky so again it looks like you have um, two parallel lines here and an X on the back. So what you want to do now, so right now your crochet hook is facing downwards, so you're going to go underneath this piece of yarn, okay? So you're under going underneath here, and you're going to go over top of this piece of yarn, and you're going to basically drag this under here, okay? Now this is the hardest part, is you're going to basically um, twist your crochet hook upwards. So because our crochet hook was facing downwards, we needed, because it was like this, we just needed to bring it up. So basically, go under, over, and right now our crochet hook is facing downwards. So all we wanna do is we just want to twist our hook upwards like that. So that's confusing, just watch my other video, I'll go into much more um, in depth on that one. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to take the piece of yarn that is right here, that you have under your pinky, <clears throat> and you're going to go underneath and you're basically going to pull through, okay? So, like that. Okay? So, now that we are here, you can um, loosen that up a bit. Um, and what you want to do is, so for this pattern, we are going to do a magic ring or magic circle um, that is uh, composed of six single crochets at the beginning. So in order to do that, you're just going to, with your crochet hook, um, you can untangle this, doesn't really matter, but you're going to go underneath both these two strands of yarn. So you have your circle and you're going to go under both those two pieces of yarn, okay? And what you're going to do is the whole point of going under is you're trying to grab this yarn to pull it under like that, okay? So I'll show you that again. So you have your two pieces of yarn here and you're going to go underneath both of them. And your whole goal is to bring this piece of yarn and you're just bringing the piece of yarn that you have on your finger underneath those two loops. So like that, okay? So you have your two pieces, pieces of yarn. You're going to go underneath them with your hook. You're going to grab this piece of yarn. Just drag that underneath like that, okay? So now you're left in a situation that looks like this. So what you wanna do is you just want to yarn over as you would a single crochet, yarn over and you're just going to pull through both those loops like that. Perfect. Okay, so I will show you that again. So you're going to go underneath these two strands of yarn, pull this one underneath like that. So now you have two loops here. You're going to yarn over and pull through. So you see here how you have um, two stitches you can ignore this. This is like, um, that's just what we originally started with. So we have two. So we can do another one. We go under those two strands of yarn. Again, it doesn't matter if it gets tangled up because it's fine if it does that. So you're going to go underneath. You're going to grab this piece of yarn, pulling it under, and you're going to yarn over again. 
So again, if you are confused about this, just take a, check out my magic ring or magic circle video because I go into more detail with this. Okay, so again, it's the same thing. Underneath, pulling this piece of yarn underneath that loop, okay? Or those two strands. You're going to yarn over again, pulling through, okay? So we have one, two, three, four so far. So we need two more. So you're going to go under, pulling strand underneath. Going to yarn over again, pulling through, and the same thing. Perfect, so now we have six. So what you can do is you can just hold on to um, your single crochets and just pull this string there, perfect. So if you ever get confused about where you started, just count backwards. So we can just count backwards and we can go um, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay? So it's not this, it's right here is where we need to go under, okay? So we're gonna be working in um, continuous rounds so we don't you don't need to worry about any um, slip stitches or anything like that. Um, so we are going to basically, and this is a bit harder on the first one, and you're going to insert your hook, okay, underneath that stitch. So it kind of looks like that coming under there, okay? Just go right under. Try not to catch on anything because I think that's the biggest thing that mistake people make is they catch on something. So just make sure you are, see how I'm not catching on anything when I go under there? Make sure you're just going right under that stitch. That's the only thing I can say is make sure you're, you're, nothing's blocking you from that stitch. It's your crochet hook and then um, the stitch there, okay? So you can see that uh, better. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make a single crochet. So you're going to go, you're going to yarn over, pulling this yarn through that stitch there, okay? And normally a slip stitch, you would pull this one through, but because we're doing a single crochet, yarn over again, pulling through and see how you just made your first stitch there. So I'm just going to insert my stitch marker there. Okay. So right there's where you need to insert it. So for my pattern, we're going to basically, um, we're going to do another single crochet. So normally what you would do is you would actually increase, which means you'd be making two single crochets into one stitch, but we're going to, in order to get really the, um, the leg shape, we're going to do another single crochet here. So we made one there and we're going to go into our next stitch. So we know we just made one here. So this is our next stitch and we're going to go underneath, right underneath. So make sure you're not um, catching on anything right underneath that stitch, and we're going to do another single crochet. So we're going to yarn over, and we're going to pull through right underneath that stitch, and we're going to yarn over again, pulling through. Okay, so we have two single crochets. And now we're going to do an increase. So the pattern is two single crochets and then an increase. Okay, which is gonna get us to um, eight single cro or eight stitches. Okay, so we can see that we've just gone under this one. We can see right there. So we're going to go into our new one now and we're going to increase. Increase is very simple. It's just making two single crochets into one stitch. So again, I yarn over and I'm just pulling underneath that stitch there, okay? Just pulling underneath that stitch. I'm going to yarn over again, pulling through both those loops and because this is an increase, I want to do it in the exact same spot. I want to make another single crochet in the same spot. How do I know what the same spot is? Well, look, this is where we've just gone under there. So I'm going to go under the same stitch. See how I can tell we've just gone under that. I'm going to yarn over and pull through. So normally we would have three because we've only, we've only gone under three stitches, but look how we have four. And the reason why is because we made two single crochets into that third stitch. Okay, so we're going to um, do that pattern again. It's only one more time we have to uh, do that.
hardest part about creating the doll, but don't worry because I will walk you through that. So what we're going to do is you're going to insert your hook back into the leg that is attached to um, the ball, okay? And what you're going to do here is you're going to chain two, okay? So you're going to chain one and chain two. Again, you just take your yarn and you pull it through like that, right? So we have our eight stitches and then we have those additional two chains um, we just made here, okay? So now we're going to connect this. Now it depends on where you want to connect this. I'm going to, um, just for convenience, connect it right where I have my stitch marker here, which signified our first of the eight single uh, our stitches. So I'm going to take that out there, okay? And I'm going to insert my crochet hook, okay? Right here. Insert my crochet hook into that stitch there, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a single crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through or pull under that stitch there. And I'm going to yarn over again, pulling through. So we've just connected um, our legs. And because there's, we, you know, we don't have um, shoes or anything where there's a certain um, position, you can really insert um, your hook into any part of here or any part of the legs. But just for convenience, I'll do that there. Now, what I will do, and what I think you should do, especially if you're a beginner, to not get confused, okay? So this is a single crochet we made. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to insert my hook, or sorry, insert my stitch marker into that stitch, okay? To help us not get um, confused, okay? So just kind of looking back at that, we have our eight stitch, we have our one chain, two chain, and then that is the um, single crochet we made where my stitch marker is in, okay? And this will help, um, this will help later on kind of um, when we start doing our single crochets. Okay, so after we've done that, what we're going to want to do is we're going to uh, continue with making our single crochets. So I can see I have just gone under this one. So I'm going to go under the next stitch and I'm going to again continue with my single crochets like that. Okay, going into the next one here. Like that going into that one so why the stitch marker is good is if you ever get confused you know you've lost your count of stitches or you're having trouble we have that stitch marker we can refer back to so what I mean by that is this was our um because remember we inserted or we made our first single crochet into where the stitch marker was and that signified our first stitch of our eight stitches so we have one we, now we have one where the stitch marker is two three four five six okay so what we can do now is we have a seventh one here Seven. And now our eighth one is right here, okay? It's kind of small, this eighth one, um, but it's right there, okay? What you can do as well is you can start putting this, um, you can start um, like we did before, basically, um, when you're crocheting, you can keep this in your, uh, or basically instead of weaving it in at the end, you're just putting it right behind your work and you're, um, basically securing it a bit more. If that makes any sense. Okay. So now we've done our eight stitches or we've created our eight stitches. So 
what I what we should do now is so we're at this position. What I can see is I can see we have two chains here. This is why the stitch marker is really helpful because this is where we made our first um, single crochet. But we want to go into our stitches. What are, or sorry, our chains. So what I mean by that is here we can see that this is where we made our single crochet, our first single crochet, which means that these two have to be the chains. So this is why the stitch marker is really helpful. So again, when, as, um, when you're crocheting, when you're starting to um, do your foundation chain, you always want to go into um, that top loop, okay? So we're not going to, because it's going to be really hard to uh, go under both those stitches, if that's even possible. So we're just going to go under the top loop here, okay? So let's do that better here. So... So basically, we've just gone under. We've just gone under that top loop there. Okay, so when we have our chains, so we have our two chains here, right? These are our two chains. I just went under uh, that top part of the chain. Okay, and that's what you do when you're doing your foundation chain, or when you're building upon your foundation chain. Uh, you normally go under that um, top loop. Okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing, make a single crochet like that, and I'm going to do it. So we just went under this one, so I'm going to do the same thing with the second one, just going under that top loop, okay? So right here, okay? So just with the V we have here, I'm just going under that um, top loop. And I'm pulling that under, finishing off the um, single crochets, okay? So this is, <laughs> this can get confusing here. So this is why it's really helpful to um, have our stitch marker here. So in this case, what we want to do is we're going to you can see here is where we had our stitch marker. So this is why it's important to have our stitch marker is we're gonna count back. So let's just count back from eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which makes sense. So what we wanna do is instead of going into um, this stitch here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into this stitch that has our stitch marker. So this whole area here can get kind of confusing. So that's why it's important uh, to have your stitch marker marking your first stitch. And we're going to go right where we have our stitch marker, okay? So that was right here. And we're going to go under here. And we're going to do another single crochet. This is why I said it kind of gets... have to push that down a bit. The uh, polyfill. Because it can cause some problems. Just push that down. Right. Okay, so right under where we had our stitch marker, and we're going to do our single crochet. Keep a lot of tension in this area as well because you don't want it to uh, look too messy. Okay, so. I just did my single crochet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my stitch marker right where I just made that first one, okay? So as you can see, it's kind of looking, um, it's kind of looking like a base now. So we're gonna keep doing that. So that was our first one, okay? This is our second. And this is our third. And this is our, oops. This is our fourth. 
This is our fifth, our sixth, our seventh, and our eighth. Okay. Perfect. So now this can get a bit confusing here. So that's why it's actually good to, if you need to, place any more um, stitch markers um, where you need to, okay? So that was our eighth. So we can tell that we've just gone under this stitch and we can see that this is where the first of our eight single crochets were. So that means these two here must be the chains. Go under this stitch here, okay? And that might be kind of confusing, but just think about it that um, you're still trying to get to the point where your chains look like these, right? They look like um, they're more protruding at the top. So in order to do that, as we see on the bottom here, and we only do this two times, first at the beginning and now here, is we're going to go under this top loop. Because if you can see here, it looks like we have two chains on the bottom. We're going to go under this top loop and we're going to single crochet, okay? And see what that did now, how it pulled it up a bit higher, right? Because before this wasn't as high. I don't know if that makes any sense, but hopefully it does. And the same thing here, we're going to go under that top loop. So just remember to flip um, your guys over or your dolls over, sorry, like that. And you're going to insert that there. And you're going to go like that. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but this is preferably what I like to do. So see how that brought that up a bit more, right? Perfect. So after we've done the two chains, we know where we're going, right? So we're not confused because we're going right into where we have our stitch marker there. Perfect. So we're going to go underneath here. And now at this point, I start to, I would start to weave in um, uh, this little one here, this uh, um, piece of yarn. So again, like before, you just put it over your hook and you're going to take this, take this piece of yarn and you're basically going to go underneath, right? You're going to go underneath that piece there, okay? So I'm going to drag this underneath here. And you're going to go, oops, going to drag this underneath that piece here. So it's under there. So it's just basically you're putting um, your yarn underneath that free piece there. And you're going to put that through and go like that. Okay, perfect. So again, I like to replace my stitch marker now. Perfect. So what we are going to do is we are going to continue doing that, okay? So that marked our first one and we can tell we've just gone through here. So we're going to go under this one here, okay? Oops, and we can continue, sorry, to weave that in the back. So we're going to go underneath the chains there, put that over top of our hook. Well, you're basically just uh, pulling the yarn that's on the hook. You're just pulling that yarn underneath that one there, okay? Going like this. Same thing, so that's two. And then this is three. And then this is four. This is five. This is six. And then this is seven. Okay. And then this is eight. So you can continue kind of weaving this in a bit more with your crochet hook, or you can cut it off now. Um, I don't think it's going to come undone, but that's up to you. Okay, perfect. So 
see how now when we were connecting, it's kind of looking more like um, the proper stitch, right? So we can insert it under both those loops instead of just the top loop. Just think about it that you're inserting it under the top loop uh, four times, okay? Uh, as long as you've inserted your hook under the top loop four times coming around here, um, then you're good two times on this side and then two times on that side, which we already did to make it look a bit better. So hopefully that, that makes sense, right? So that's, uh, we've done our eight. And then what we can do is we can go under both those loops now, right? So I'm gonna kind of continue to weave this in a bit. So that's one chain. I'm just gonna make it really tight coming on here because I don't want there to be any openings at the bottom, okay? Um, so that's our second chain. Okay, so now we are on again to doing single crochets because we have our two stitch markers there. Um, again, just a reminder that in total right now, we're going to have, um, going around here, we're going to have 20 single crochets. So just remember that. So we are going to uh, repeat this cycle 11 times. Um, so we've already done it once. Um, so we're going to, um, or we've done it twice, sorry. And we're going to repeat that um, nine more times coming up here in order to create the body. And then we're going to uh, create the head. But see how that's, it looks really tight there. And it's the same thing um, with this doll here. So um, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty tight there as well. Okay. So yeah, just put more attention when you are coming, um, creating this more. Um, and again, helpful advice, don't put a lot of polyfill, um, leave a bit of opening, because if you do um, catch any of the polyfill, it's going to be very difficult to um, undo undo your um, cro single crochets that you did, okay? So it depends. I like starting here. So remember how we um, connected with our we did our first single crochet here. So this is really the starting point. So um, at this point, you can take out um, this stitch marker. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take out this stitch marker and keep this one in because this really signifies um, where we have um, our single crochets. Or you could just, as long as you can take out one, basically the same thing, okay? So we're just going to repeat that, and I'll do a couple more. So we are right here. Um, okay, I'll weave that in one more time. Weave it in one more time, okay. Okay, so then I'll also just So again, after we've done that, put that in there. Perfect. And then you're just going to keep making your single crochets.
Okay, so now what we are going to do is, I'm just going to get some more yarn here. Okay, is we are going to, for our next row, we are going to do two single crochets and then an invisible decrease. So, we're going to do one single crochet and then we can replace the stitch marker here. And we're going to do a second single crochet. And now we're going to do an invisible decrease. So what we're going to do is we're going to go under the bottom loops of these next two stitches. So go under both these. And you're going to yarn over, pulling through both those two loops and then another yarn over like that. So basically, um, just to explain, so we did two single crochets, but now we only have, um, go, by going through those two stitches, we've only created one single crochet, and that's a decrease. So again, I'll show you that. So I'm going to our next stitch, and we're going to do one, and go in the second one. Okay, and now what we're going to do is another decrease. So we're going to go under here and then go under the second one. So we go under those two bottom loops. We're going to yarn over, pulling under both those loops here. Okay, and then yarn over again, pulling that through. Okay, and do that again. So we have, so we have two single crochets and then we have a decrease. So we're going under the bottom loop for the next two ones here. We're going to yarn over, pulling through both those like that. So we'll try that again. So we do two single crochets. And then we're going to do our decrease. So we go like that. Okay, so under the bottom loop of the next two stitches and we pull through, yarn over, pull that through. And we put two single crochets here, one, two. And then we are going to do our last decrease here. So go under the bottom loop for that one, bottom loop for this one as well, okay? Yarn over, pulling that through, and then yarn over again.
Okay, so now that we're here, we're going to do our half double crochet. So again, we're going to locate um, where we need to insert our crochet hook, which is just where these chains are attached to, as we can see by there. So to do the half double crochet, you're going to yarn over and you're going to take this yarn and you're going to push it through underneath that top part of the loop there. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over just coming under that first stitch, okay? And now you're going to yarn over again, pulling through all three of those loops. So I'm going to just insert my stitch marker here, okay? So, or right above it. Okay, so that's the first chain we made and we can do that again. Yarn over, just going under that top loop, okay? So we're just going under that top loop there. So it looks like this, just going under that top loop. We're going to yarn over, just going under that stitch or that loop. We're going to yarn over again, pulling through all three. make sure that we're not going into um, this loop at all here because this is the um, um, where we made our slip stitch and then this or these two are our chains so just remember that uh, you're going to be skipping um, three stitches here uh, this was our slip stitch and those two are our chains so just make sure you're skipping three and you're going to go so you're skipping one, two, three. So you're going back where you had your stitch marker. And again, you're doing another slip stitch. You're pulling through there. And then you're also um, pulling through there as well. One more stitch left to do before we have our um, slip stitch and then our uh, two chains. So we're going to start our half double crochet coming in like that. So now we have three loops and what we're going to do is we are going to take our new piece of um, or a new color of yarn. Okay and kind of fold it like that. And you're just going to simply attach this here, okay? And what you're going to do is with this piece of yarn, you're going to pull it through those three loops, okay? Oops, so like that. And then you can pull that down. You can also cut this, the pink yarn, And you're going to now create your slip stitch. Okay, so again, you can just pull that down. Okay, 
and you're going to create your slip stitch, which is right in under here where we had our stitch marker. Going to pull through that, pull through that, you can tighten there. And now because we're starting our double crochets, we are going to chain three. One, two, three. Now, what we can do is we're going again back under the um, same place we came or where we did our turn or um, chains, which is right here. So we're going to go in there and basically I'll just show you um, how to do this before I start kind of weaving in the yarn is it sort of follows the same logic where you're yarning over going into that same spot. So you have like three loops here for in this stitch and you're going to yarn over pulling underneath that stitch. Okay. And you're going to yarn over again, pulling through those two loops and yarn over again, pulling those through those two loops. So you can replace your stitch marker. So it's like um, half double crochet, you're doing three yarn overs and double crochet, you're doing four yarn overs. Um, as I like to remember it. So again, I'll show you that again. So you yarn over, go under your stitch, you're going to yarn over again, just coming underneath that stitch. And now with our half double crochet, you'd yarn over pulling through all three, but because this is double, you're just going to go under those first two loops there. And then you're going to do that again, going through those loops. Okay. So that's what makes a double crochet. And um, what you can do as well is would actually, uh, What I like to do is I like to take this piece of yarn, I like to take these three pieces of yarn that I have here, and I'm just sort of going to um, uh, weave them in. So what I mean by that is I'm going to start with creating my double crochet. So I'm gonna go in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pink pieces of yarn, the one that's um, we cut off, and I'm going to put it on my hook first here and then the one from that was on the bottom I'm going to do that as well and then I'm going to place my blue yarn here okay so it looks like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn and come underneath pull it underneath these three pieces of yarn as well as the stitch itself so like that okay so it looks like that so see how it kind of trapped it there? Just make sure you have the pink um, first. Okay, so you're going to basically yarn over, pulling through those two loops, yarn over again, pulling underneath those as well, okay? So you can keep doing that for a while. You will have this piece of yarn here. If that uh, bothers you, you can just weave it in, um, but I'm fine with it. So again, what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, push it through your stitch here, okay? And you're going to place um, your pink yarn here and then the blue yarn at the back. So like that, take the yarn, pulling it underneath those three pieces of yarn and underneath the stitch, going to Yarn over, pulling through those first two loops, and then yarn over again.
so basically let's just start by chaining um, 25 okay so we do one two three four five six seven So that's what this looks like. We're actually going to add a few more so you can also um, adjust this. So in my pattern, I put that we'd be doing 30. So let's just go up five more. So 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We're also going to add one more stitch, 31, okay? Um, because when we do our um, single crochet crochets, we're not going to go into this one here. We're just going to uh, go into this next stitch here. Okay, so do 25 if you want it to be a bit shorter and then 31. Or you do 26 if you want it to be a bit shorter and 31 if you want it to be a bit longer. And we're just doing single crochets. So, um, of course, we're not going to go back into here because that would cause... Um, some problems so with our single crochets we're going to go back into here okay so the second so we're not going into this one but we're going into um the top loop so just under that top loop of the um second stitch from the hook okay and single crochet so we just did that and then coming back through okay so we're going to continue that pattern so we can tell we've just gone through here so we're going to go just under the top loop okay so under that top loop there like that and we're just going to continue making single crochets so just under the top loop like that okay So again, we're just continuing on with that uh, pattern. Just make sure you're just under that one loop there, under the top loop, and then just doing your single crochets like we've been doing this entire time. And I will meet you when we are at the end. So now what I'm going to do is, um, so we, remember we uh, changed 31, so just make sure you have 30 stitches here then. And what we're going to do is, I like placing a stitch marker here, is now we're going to go into this next stitch, right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a slip stitch. So I'm just going to pull this yarn through, like that, and then I'm going to pull it through there as well. You can tighten that. Perfect, so if you want, you can uh, replace your stitch marker there. Okay, and we're going to again.
Okay, so the doll is finished now. Perfect. Um, but other than that, other than the hair in this design, basically the same thing. So that is the fairy. Um, and yeah. So remember to like and uh, subscribe to get more videos like this and leave a comment down below on what you want to um, see me do next. So thank you guys. This is Tori signing out.